In this video, I wanna show you how to use the Procreate apparel mock-up templates. So these are the flat lay t-shirt mock-up templates. You can see these are layered files. You can change the background color. You can change the fabric color. You can do all kinds of things. You can add in your own graphic, your own neck labels, your own sleeve graphics. You could even put a photo in the background if you wanna bring that in as a layer. But let's go in and I'll show you from start how to work with these. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is let's go to our gallery, then go to import. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to where you have these saved. These are on my iPad in the Procreate folder. They come with a blue, a black, and a white t-shirt. So if you're mocking up a medium value shirt, say like a medium gray, a medium green, medium blue, use the blue shirts, the front and back. If you're mocking up dark fabric, use the black fabric shirts. So if you're mocking up like a dark brown, a black, a navy, dark burgundy. And if you're mocking up a light color t-shirt, start with the white t-shirt. So if you're doing like a yellow, pink, any light color, start with that because you'll have to edit the fabric shading a little less if you do that. But I'll show you how to work around these either way. So let's go to the front number one, which is a blue t-shirt. So you can see there's a layer hierarchy here. You have the shading layer, which applies the shading contrast to the fabric. There's a sleeve graphic, and that's also masked out. So you can see it goes off the edge here. If I turn that mask on, that edge disappears. It looks like it's printed to the edge where the sleeve folds over. And same thing with the neck label here. You can see it's cropped out inside that neck label area on the inside of the shirt. There's also a heather fabric texture layer, which you can turn on or off. You can also increase or decrease the opacity if you want more or less of an effect. We'll keep that off. There's your fabric color. So if you want to change that, just go and highlight that layer and then you can drop a color onto it. And there's your background. So you can change your background to any color. Um, there's also a drop shadow, which you can see here. So you can turn that on or off. You can also turn down the opacity if you want it a little bit less. And if you're saving these for web, if you want them to be on a transparent background, you can just turn off that background color and export these as a transparent PNG. So let's add in our graphic. You can add in a file. You can add in, say, like a PNG file, transparent PNG. So if, you're, if you've made a graphic in Procreate or Photoshop or Illustrator, you can export that as a transparent PNG, upload it to your iPad, into your camera roll, and then you can just add that as a photo. So we go to add and then insert a photo. And then I'm gonna add in this leopard graphic. Now it's got some texture applied. So you see that texture coming through the graphic there. These are uh, from the Thrift Mart vintage t-shirt textures. The other thing you're going to want to do is make sure your graphic is just above or below the example graphic. That way it's not on top of that shading layer or it's not behind your fabric color because then your graphic will just disappear. So make sure it's just above or below that example graphic. We're going to turn that example graphic off and then let's scale down this graphic and get the placement just right. So let's change this fabric color. I think a blue would look great. And you can just keep going and editing if you want it lighter or darker or you wanna change the color. Let's change that background color. Let's do like an orange. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do, let's say you had an off-placement graphic like this 
this graphic was off the side of the shirt or you have a little sleeve graphic like that you want that to go off the shirt so we've got to crop that in with the layer mask same thing goes for the neck label so let's put in a graphic into the sleeve and into the neck label i'll show you how to crop those out so again, what we want to do is, let's say we're doing the sleeve graphic. Let's go ahead and highlight that and then go add, insert a photo. And let's scale this down. For your sleeve graphic, most of the time you want to turn it so it's parallel to the cuff. That way, if it's printed on the sleeve like that, it's gonna look like it's wrapping around and it's printed in the right place. The other thing is let's turn off the visibility of that existing sleeve graphic. The other thing that's important is, see this layer mask here? We also wanna turn off the visibility of that so that we can go select it and then let's go back to this sleeve graphic and you'll notice we get a notification here. Just go ahead and cancel that. And then for your sleeve graphic, just go to mask. Now it's masked out. And we can do the same thing with the neck label. So let's go to the existing neck label, highlight that, go to insert a photo. I'll just add in that same photo there. It's quite big so we can scale it down. And let's just position it right there. Let's turn off the visibility of the existing neck label. Again, let's go to this layer mask. Make sure you turn off the visibility then go to select, and then when we navigate back to that layer, just hit cancel, and go to your neck label, and then go to mask. Let's say you wanted more contrast in this fabric. What we can do is, let's go to this top layer here. Again, this is the shading layer. We can tap right here, on our adjustments and let's go to curves. So you can play around with these curves and you can get a lot more contrast in the shirt. You know, again, if, if we're doing say a black shirt, let me undo that. What you're gonna wanna do is either use the existing black template or if you wanna change this fabric color, you're gonna wanna do a dark gray, not a black, not a full black, because then your shadows would disappear. So let's do a gray about there. Drag that in. And you see how it would be nice, it, it kind of just looks like a really dark gray shirt. So what we need to do, instead of adding dark fabric color to this layer, what we need to do is go to our shading layer and increase that contrast like I was just talking about. So go to your curves and then pull this down and you can really ramp up that contrast. So now it's starting to look like a black shirt. And the other thing you can do is if you find that this darkens your graphic too much, so your, your printed graphic, let's go back, we can duplicate this and then drag it down to just above the heather and fabric color layers and then add your contrast to that instead. So we'll go back to our curves and then we can really ramp up that shading there. And again, let's say we wanted to turn this to a white shirt, let's undo that. Turn off that because we don't need it. Let's just go to a white. And that looks pretty good because if you were to go here and add contrast, it's gonna be too dark. 
So you could even actually go the opposite way and lighten it just a little bit. I was gonna show you the Liquify filter. So what Liquify does, it'll warp your graphic to match the ripples in the shirt fabric. But this is a manual adjustment. So you, it's essentially a brush and you, you don't want the brush to be too big. Scale it down and see if you can kind of warp it a little bit. And that'll help it kind of look a little more like it's printed on this rippled fabric. But this is just an optional thing. These are flat lay templates that don't have a lot of bend or ripple to them. So you can just leave your graphic in there um, without the liquify filter. But I think that's looking pretty good. And thanks for watching.